what's up guys it's Drax here today i'm going to be bringing you guys another short video today i'm going to show you guys on how to make this glitched black joggers july 4th outfit for your male character so for this first part of this outfit i'm going to show you on how to get the black joggers so we're going to get our moc so to call in your moc you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu go to services click on mobile operation center and just request your moc after you do request your moc hit pause wait for it to spawn on the map after you do wait for it to spawn mine will probably spawn right here once your moc does spawn then you're just going to want to head to your moc and go into the back of it where the trailer is but yeah i'll get back to you whenever i do get to my moc after you do get inside your moc you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your moc so it's going to say access mobile operations after you are here go ahead and hit right on the d-pad log in and scroll down to the bottom and we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet. Go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. When you do get to the clothing store, you should be wearing your black joggers. So now you're going to want to walk over here to your tops, scroll down to t-shirts, which will be right here on slot 23. Click on t-shirts and you're going to equip the white bold USA t-shirt on slot 36. After you do equip the USA t-shirt, you can now back out of the t-shirts, scroll down to the bottom, which will be on slot 53 and it's going to be utility vest. Click on utility vest and you're going to look for the peach plate carrier on slot 40, I believe it's 43. Yeah, the peach plate carrier will be on slot 43, so go ahead and equip the peach plate carrier. After you have done this, you can now back out of your tops, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sneakers on slot two, and equip the white plain high tops on slot four. Once you have done this, back out of the shoes, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and equip the white cotton gloves on slot 53. After you did equip the white cotton gloves, back out of your accessories, and if your character has any head accessories, pull up your interaction menu and just take off any head accessories that your character has. Even if your character does have a parachute, go ahead and take the parachute off and this is what your outfit should look like so far. Once your outfit does look like this, you're going to want to walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and either save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20. After you do save the outfit, back out of your edit saved outfits, scroll down to heist coveralls, which will be on slot 13, click on heist coveralls, Scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and just select one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask, you can now just back out of the front counter. And now for this, we're going to head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and merge the mask over from this toxic outfit over to the outfit we just saved. Once you have found the telescope on the pier, you're just going to want to do the telescope glitch. Go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. Pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to your outfits and equip the outfit you just saved with the peach plate carrier at the clothing store. 
After you did equip this outfit, put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask does combine with your outfit, just like this. So after your outfit does look like this, we're now going to head over here to the gun store so we can save the outfit. When you are at the gun store, just walk over here to the clothing section, hit right on the d-pad, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. After you did save the outfit, you can now back out of the tops, and now we're going to start up the job that's called a titan of a job, so just hit pause, scroll to online, click online, click on jobs. If it does say quick join, this is just for new gen consoles, but if you are on old gen, it'll just say jobs, so click on quick join or jobs, scroll down to play job, click on play job, Rockstar created, scroll down to missions, and you're going to look for the job that's called a titan of a job, and just start up that job. When you load into the Titan of a Job mission, you will see that you are not wearing the Peach Plate Carrier anymore, but it will only be the Toxic Mask with your outfit. So once your outfit does look like this, walk back over here to your tops, hit Edit Saved Outfits, and save this outfit once again, once again on whichever slot you saved it on before. After you did save this outfit, you can now back out of the tops, and all you want to do is just pull up your phone and leave the job from your phone. So when you load back into a public session, you're just going to want to run back inside the gun store, run over here to the tops, which will be on the left side, hit right on the d-pad, scroll down to vest, which will be on slot 47, click on vest, and equip any vest that looks like this. After you do equip a vest that does look like this, you can now back out of the vest, scroll down to vest shirts on slot 48, and you're going to equip the black band vest shirt on slot 14. After you do equip the black band vest shirt, you can now just back out of the tops, and now we're going to do the merge glitch. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to do the it's a G thing job. So it's kind of like the crooked cop. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and do the job at my apartment because I know a lot more people join that job since it's a heist. But yeah, I'll get back to you whenever I do get to my apartment. When you have made it to your apartment, you're going to want to go into your heist planning board room. Whenever you go into your heist planning board room, walk up to the heist planning board. And out of all the heists, you're going to want to select the first one that's called the Fleeka job. After you select the Fleeka job, the first job it's going to have you complete, it's going to be called scope out. After you complete the scope out mission, the second job, it's going to be called Kuruma. And whenever you have the Kuruma job available, that's whenever you're going to launch the mission. When you are in the Kuruma job, you're going to want to set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. Once you set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, you can confirm your settings and then just wait for a random or a friend to join. And once someone does join, you can launch the job. When you load into here where it shows your owned outfits, if you saved your outfit on slot 1, scroll one time to the right. If you saved your outfit on slot 20, scroll one time to the left. And whenever your outfit does look like this, you can just hit ready to play. Once you load into the Kuruma job, all you need to do is pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you load back into a public session, you're going to load back in whenever you're wearing the black band vest shirt. So for this, you're going to want to find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. But whenever you do find a car, you're going to want to get inside that car. Once you are inside the car, pull up your interaction menu and register as a CEO. After you register as a CEO or a motorcycle club, it doesn't really matter. You're going to want to go ahead and pull up your interaction menu up again. Click on Secure Service CEO or Motorcycle Club. Scroll down to Management. Click on Management. Scroll down to Style. Click on Style. And on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then scroll one time to the right back to none. Now get out of the car and you will see that the black band vest shirt does merge over with the white USA t-shirt, which looks like this. So this is what your outfit should look like so far. We're not done yet. We're going to go ahead and equip the glasses, the rebreather, and the hat uh, soon. Once your outfit does look like this, we're now going to go ahead and head over here to the clothing store. Okay guys, whenever you have made it to the clothing store, first before we do equip the hat, we're going to go and equip the rebreather. So to equip the rebreather, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to accessories, click on accessories, and on gear, you're going to want to scroll one time to the right, which looks like this to equip the rebreather. You guys will see that your logo does disappear, but don't worry, we're, that will come back later. But after you do equip the rebreather, if you for some reason don't have the rebreather through gear, you're going to want to go to the gun store, go to the middle counter where it says gear, and you're just and whenever you do click right on the d-pad in the middle counter it'll show you your earpieces the night vision goggles and then the rebreather will be at the bottom go ahead and buy the rebreather and then after you do buy the rebreather it should automatically be on your character but like i said if you already do own it you should be able to pull it up and equip it through the interaction menu through the style and then go to accessories and then through the gear just like this after you do equip your rebreather walk over here to the hats scroll down to special hats which will be right here on slot 17 click on special hats and you're going to go ahead and equip the red top foam hat on slot 11. After you do equip the red top foam hat, 
you'll see that it does go together with your rebreather just like this. Now you're going to want to walk over here to the glasses, scroll down to casual glasses, click on casual glasses, and scroll down to the star spangled shades on slot 2. Once you do equip the shades, you should see that they also do combine together with the rebreather and the hat just like this. Now for the final part, it's going to be the parachute. So for the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to parachute, click on parachute, and set your parachute to on. And for your bag, set it to the USA shoot bag. After you set it to the USA shoot bag, then you can just go over here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. If you don't have the USA shoot bag, you will want to go to the gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then you can look for the USA shoe bag and then just buy it through there. After you do buy the USA shoe bag, you can back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to parachute, and set your parachute to on, and it should already be set to the USA shoe bag. And yeah, this is where your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just save it on whichever slot you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this glitched USA July 4th outfit for your male character. Hope you guys have a good 4th of July. Please like and subscribe. Peace.